DeRozan with the rebound. The Spurs come into this one following a loss to the Grizzlies. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and that's got to be annoying to them. I mean, work hard to get to the line, but fail to capitalize. Trying to get open is Thompson, and it's White missing. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. He takes it in. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. And one of the few bright spots of their last season was sweeping the season series in this matchup. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. White, wide open. He fires. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. Well, there's such a great rhythm to the game. White looked comfortable on the catch and shoot. Well, White's a talented player, but very streaky. You never know who's going to show up. So for Chicago right now, we've got DeRozan. Tristan Thompson is out there with Williams. Then it's White, and it's Ball in at the one spot. Back to White, jacks up a three. Score the basket is eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. Chris, as you said, with White, he can make 10 in a row and then miss the next 15. But well, Kevin, that's just how some players are. It, it all averages out in the game. Hopefully White can find more consistency. They are just killing them on the interior. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, guys. Well, they call him Captain Clutch, and in the last game against the Grizzlies was terrific. He scored 22 points and made an impact from outside the arc, hitting a good number of three-pointers. This is why he's considered a star player. The way he carried his team was incredible. Kevin, we'll see if he can do it again tonight. Thanks, David. You know, G.A., you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against it. Yeah, well, he made it look easy last time. sink from the get-go. We'll see, though, if he can replicate that rhythm tonight. Here's Ball after the main shot from Captain Clark. The coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Most game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. 